Hey everyone, Scottish Boy on Native Two here, and uh, <laughs> um, firstly, let me just get the thing out of the way. Um, if you're easily offended by swearing, I would recommend you do not click off this video because I'm going to be ripping this game here, Final Fantasy XIII, to a fucking new asshole. Uh, but before I do that, let me uh, let's just tell you, this is not a review. I have not completed this game. I'm going to tell you why I haven't completed it, for one simple reason in a bit. But let me just give you a little, exp a little thing here. If you are a Final Fantasy fanboy, or you love the Final Fantasy series of games, or you even like the Final Fantasy series of games, here's what I say to you right now. Leave this video right now. Do not watch this video because you will pro because I really don't want to hear your Final Fantasy fan nut jobs bullshit, okay? I do not want to hear that. I do not want to hear any of that fucking shit that all of the best games ever and no game is ever better. T I'm telling you right now, okay? Just fuck off and don't watch this video. I'll say it right now. If you're, a, if you're a Final Fantasy mega fan, do not watch this video. I am warning you right now. So, firstly, let me just give you a little backstory uh, on my experience with the Final Fantasy franchise. And let me just grab it just quickly. Uh, hmm. Hmm, nice. Um, so firstly, let me just tell you what the first Final Fantasy game was I played. Um, the first Final Fantasy game I played was Final Fantasy VIII. And let me just tell you, you know, I was never into the JRPGs as a kid. Or I, I still am not into the JRPGs. I never liked them. I never got into them as much as other people did. And I personally hate them. I have to say it right now, I personally hate JRPGs. Um, I've never liked the turn-based combat. I've never liked the certain art style of some of the games. I've never liked this. I've never liked that. We nitpicks. But the Final Fantasy franchise, especially, is I personally hate for many reasons. Um, Final Fantasy VIII, uh, 10 and 10 2 are the only Final Fantasy games that I've played. Final Fantasy VIII I hate because of this. The story is fucking horrible and the characters are emo bastards. And some of them I feel like absolutely strangling. Final Fantasy X. I'll just say this, it's the only game that I've ever stopped playing because the main character drove me fucking crazy. Final Fantasy X 2 was a blatant fucking fan service whore bitch that ever came out. And that is my experience with the Final Fantasy games. I've never liked them. I personally hate the three, and uh, I kind of hate this now. Um, I never played thirteen. I actually intend to pick up thirteen because apparently it's a little bit better. But after such a foul taste that this game's left in my fucking mouth, I probably won't even pick up another Final Fantasy game ever fucking again. Uh, and uh, let me just get the good things of the Final Fantasy series out of the way. I'm going to tell you what I like about the Final Fantasy series. Visually, graphically, the cinematics are gorgeous. They are absolutely outstanding, especially in this game. This game actually is not in 720p HD, this is in 1080p HD. This is the best quality you can get in a video game. The graphics are fucking amazing in this game, and the cinematics in other Final Fantasy games have been absolutely beautiful. I'll say that right now. That, I love about it. I love that about the Final Fantasy franchise, especially what Square Enix can do with it. There is a lot of fucking beautiful stuff in these games. Um, Final Fantasy VIII and X, I love the soundtrack of. I love the soundtrack of those two Final Fantasy games. Um, I didn't like Final Fantasy X's soundtrack except for one song. It's the song that, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, the, the, the main character sings uh, near the end of the game. I'm sure you can find it and my iron brew has frozen. Look, <laughs> it's frozen. Uh, that's a nice cup. Um, but yeah, I never liked the Final Fantasy. I never liked Final Fantasy X two or this soundtrack has some hidden messages in it. It's better than ten two, but even then, there's there's a fuck. I'll say this right now. What I'll tell you what I hated. What song I hated in this game? In this game, you can ride chocobos, which are basically giant chickens that I personally would deep fat fry and bar. Um, and one of the songs that comes on is a heavy metal grunge song that basically is ride your chocobo. Rise on, Give myself a headache there. That is basically it, and it gets annoying. <laughs> I had to get that out of there. And what I'll say right now is that is the good things about the Final Fantasy franchise. The visuals and the graphics are normally outstanding. Um, the music is 99% of the time beautiful, but I'll tell us right now, before anyone asks, I personally hate the song Eyes On Me from Final Fantasy VIII. That is the point I stopped playing that game. 
I have never completed a Final Fantasy game. I'll say that right now. And it hasn't changed with this piece of fucking shit. Um, so yeah, as I say, graphically and musically, the Final Fantasy games are pretty hard to beat. Um, so, well, let me just get to the meat of this review. And firstly, I'm not going to be reviewing Final Fantasy 8, 10, and 10, 2. I'm basically going to concentrate on this game. If you want to look for a good review on Final Fantasy 8 and 10, 2 that basically sums up my feelings, I'll leave a link in the description to the Spoony Experiments review of Final Fantasy 8. He basically sums up my experience with Final Fantasy 8, 10, and 10, 2 and, and three multiple videos, and I'd recommend you watch them because that is basically my feelings on the game. It's never one or two week minor changes. But let me just talk about Final Fantasy 10 2. Right? I'm a fair reviewer, and I will say this right now, this is a good game. This is a good game. It is kind of worth your money, you're going to get your experience out of this game. But this is not a review, so I'm not going to be scoring it in any way, shape or form, because it's an incomplete review, because I have not completed this game, and I'm not going to complete this game, because this game is a piece of fucking piss. <sighs> Firstly, I've said what I like to be fair fans around this. Now here's why I fucking hate about this game. What I hate about this game is the same reason why I hate the other Final Fantasy games, except for some minor things. The combat. Ever since Final Fantasy VIII, I have never enjoyed the combat of JRPGs. I never have. But I'll say this right now. Final Fantasy VIII has the per in my personal opinion, has the worst fucking combat in it. The rest of them are fairly easy to pick up. Turn based combat, you have to think while you're doing it. And that is why I don't like JRPGs because of that reason, the combat. I've never really liked the turn based combat. I've been more of an action kind of gamer. Um, now what else can I say? Oh yeah, I've got a lot of fucking say about this game. Uh, why, the things that I hate the most about this game and the majority of all the Final Fantasy games that I've played, the story and the characters are fucking horrible! Look, I'm sorry, if you love the Final Fantasy characters, good on you. Fair enough. Respect to you that you can stand these motherfucking bitches. But every main character from Final Fantasy VIII up until this fucking piece of shit has been an emo fucking bitch. Or has been a pain in my ass. Titus from Final Fantasy X, I fucking want to kill him. He is a fucking annoying bastard. That doesn't suffer from this. The two main characters of this game, Sarah and Noel. Noel Emo. He looks like fucking that guy from Kingdom Hearts. I've never played Kingdom Hearts, so I don't know his name. He looks like that guy from fucking Kingdom Hearts. Sarah, in this game, is the sister of Lightning, who actually, I'll say this right now, Lightning, her here, is the best character in this fucking game, and she's the main protagonist of Final Fantasy XIII. She's the best fucking character in this game, and do you know how often you fucking see her? Opening cutscene, and near the end. Only time you fucking see her, and I enjoyed her character more than I enjoyed fucking Noel and Sarah. I should probably didn't do that, it's not my game. <laughs> and... Oh, I know the same characters are real fucking annoying. And you only get two characters in this one, unlike other Final Fantasy games, which is a major pain. Um, and the characters. I'll t I want to talk about Sarah especially. She looks fucking 13. I shit you not, she looks 13, and I've read up on the Wikipedia page, she's meant to be fucking 21, and she looks 13, and she's she's proposed to be married to Snow, who was another character from Final Fantasy 13, who looks about 30. I'm sorry, it's creepy as fucking hell, and she's wearing one of the most revealing fucking outfits I've ever seen a main character wear. Not in the Final Fantasy series, by the way, it's not including fucking Final Fantasy 10 2, which is basically a fucking fan service whore. But her outfit is so fucking short, she's wearing, it's, 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 the, it's orange and pink and it looks fucking horrible. And it's, the, the one thing I personally hate about the whole outfit and look of Sarah is her side fucking ponytail. It sticks out the fucking ear. I just want to fucking smack her in the face and turn that fucking ponytail the right way around, bitch. Oh god. Noel. Noel, um, all I can say about him is, 
He's not the most annoying Final Fantasy character, but he is up there. He's constantly talking about how his life's shit. Um, he sounds like he's going to start self-harming himself. He sounds like a fucking asshole I want to punch in the fucking face. But he's bearable. The two main characters are bearable as long as you go to us. I'll tell you right now, I actually don't remember any of the story from Final Fantasy XIII and I stopped paying attention to it halfway through the game because I honestly have... I'm a now, the game where I am today, I have to finish a game. I don't want to finish this game. So this is not a review, as I've said. Other nitpicks that I have on this game. The constant reuse of villains and enemies in this game. You will constantly be fighting the same enemies in this game over and fucking over. And a lot of people will say, oh, but they're completely different enemies. No, they're fucking not. They're just retextured enemies. You will face so many retextured enemies, it's unfucking believable Now, I know retextured enemies are common in games. Batman Arkham City has a fucking ton of retextured characters, but they all fit into their certain areas. Um, Resident Evil franchise has retextured characters. I have no problem with retextured characters. But when you fight the same retextured characters over a period of 20 plus hours of gameplay, by the way, I actually timed you and tells you how long you've spent on this game. I spent over 20 hours on this fucking game and I don't want to complete it and that says something. And you will constantly be fighting constant amounts of enemies that are just retextured fucking assholes. And they will change. They will change in some way, shape, or form. They, they might not be the exact same as their retextured brothers and sisters. But basically, the only difference with them is retextured, and they might do a slight bit better, more damage. But I recognise some enemies from Final Fantasy VIII in this game, and I'm sorry, Square Enix, make some new fucking villains and characters, please. I'm sick to death of seeing fucking jelly tomatoes. Um, but I just, I honestly am done with the Final Fantasy franchise after this game. Um, I don't even know why I picked it up. Or not. I didn't pick it up as a present from my partner who actually likes the Final Fantasy franchise. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the enemies, the music is hot. But the enemies are re repetitive and dull and I honestly couldn't give two shits when I was versing them. Um, the characters are bland, unrememberable except for Lightning and Kai Caius, who is the main villain of the game, who is voiced by a guy who has the most fucking epic voice ever. And that's the, they're the only two characters I liked. Um, the rest of the characters are fucking annoying as hell. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Mm, my throat's starting to go, so I need to take a drink. Um, yeah, let's see. What else can I say? What else can what? How else can I rip this game a new fucking asshole? Hmm. Oh yeah, the boss battles. Let's talk about the fucking boss battles. Now the boss battles are brilliant, I'll say that right now, the boss battles are epic and massive. You'll fight a fucking shit ton of boss battles in this game. A huge, massive array of them. And some of them are very well done and very enjoyable. I'll say that right now, some of them, after you beat them, you feel accomplished. Except for the last fucking boss battle. But before I get to that, let me just tell you, there are so many fucking cheap ass deaths in the final stage that it's unbelievable. Let me just tell you, you come across one of these, one of these um, monsters basically that looks like a fish with legs and you've come across this monster before in the game and it's been a piece of piss to take it down like that. All of a sudden this fucking fish kills you in three hits. Kills your entire fucking party in three hits. Three hits. Three. And I'll tell you what, I had a level 99 Ravager, 99 fucking Commando, 86 fucking Medic, 30, sorry, 76 Sentinel, and it kills me in three hits. <coughs> breathe, breathe. Yeah, so watch out for that fish. Let me just get to the thing that basically stopped me from playing this game and completing it. The final fucking boss battle. Now the final boss battle is of this guy right here. Caius. And you'll fight one, two, three, four, four stages. Four stages of, of this boss battle of Caius. And the first three stages, they are challenging, but once you beat them, you do feel accomplished. 
the final final stage of him, he transforms into three fucking dragons that basically have a super ultra mega move that if you don't fucking kill two of the dragons in a certain time limit, it will fucking kill your entire party in one hit. Now that is common in Final Fantasy games and I fucking hate cheap ass one hit deaths if they are not explained and reasoned with. This one, you have to kill two of the dragons. Two of them. And each dragon is a bitch to fucking kill if you don't kill them the right way. And I can get past the first attack. I can get by that and stop them from using that. But when it gets to the second attack, the dragons are near impossible for me to beat. Now I know that I'm shit at JRPGs and I pro can guarantee I'm going to get a fucking caught shit ton of comments saying, oh you, ha you haven't done it right, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do that. No! Here's what I say to you. I'm a, I'm a gamer. I don't play a lot of JRPGs. I honestly don't. So I am shit at them. I'll say that right now. And you can hate on me all you fucking want. But this boss battle, you should be able to beat this fucking boss battle even if you're not a massive JRPG kinda. There is no trial and error in this game. The final boss battle, you have to do it an exact fucking way. You have to kill one enemy who basically has a mo one dragon on the left, which is basically a fire fucking dragon, and it has one move that will take away half your health in one fucking fell swoop, and then you have another one that's constantly casting debuffs on your characters, so you're constantly getting poisoned, and you're constantly losing a fucking lot of it health, and then you're like, God fucking damn it, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and it's just constantly casting debuffs and casting poison on you. And if you don't have a shit ton of fucking antidotes, which I didn't, you don't have a fucking chance because the poison never goes away. It is there for the entire battle until you get rid of it. And I have a level 85 medic who basically can't cure fucking poison. <sighs> Yeah, so you can get a test the final boss battle is a fucking cheap ass death boss battle. And I, I'll, I'll tell you, I did not give up easily. I first that boss at least 13 times. The exact fucking name of the fucking game. 13 fucking times and I couldn't fucking beat it. I got, I got so fucking close once. So fucking close that... I actually says, I'll give it one more try. And I gave it one more try. And it fucking raped me. Sorry. <sighs> I am not going to be completing this game. I'll tell you that right now. I don't care anymore. The boss at the end is cheap. I actually don't give two shits about the ending because I didn't give two shits about the story. And... The final boss is a bitch. I don't give two shits about him. He can fuck himself. This game can go fuck itself. I don't care anymore. It can go fuck itself. The, the, I very rarely give up on a game. Every game I buy, I complete. Without any, No matter how bad the fucking game is, I will complete the game. This is the only game in, my, in the past four years that I've been playing games that I am not wanting to complete. I do not want to complete this game. Do I know why? Because I can't beat the fucking final boss who is a cheating ass fucking whore. Now if you can beat him, good on you. I can't and I don't want to spend fucking another 20 fucking euros until I fucking beat him. I don't, I personally don't. I'd rather wait for Mass Effect 3. I'm honestly, I was playing this basically as a time killer just to wait to Mass Effect 3 and I don't want to play anymore. I'm going to go back and play other games. I'm going to do another playthrough of fucking Arkham City. I'm going to do another playthrough of fucking Portal 2. I'm going to play another playthrough of Resident Evil 5. I'm going to play another playthrough of fucking Elder Scrolls Skyrim. I might even go back and play fucking Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Then play this fucking game and try and spend a 20 fucking hours completing the final boss. I don't give two shits. I don't care about this game. It can go fuck itself. Square East, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, you fucking ass whores. I think I probably ranted on long enough. So let me just tell you right now, I'm not I'm not saying this isn't this this is a bad game. It's a good game. It's a good time killer game in my opinion. If you're looking for a game with a good story and rememberable characters, this is a shit story, but it has rememberable characters that you want to punch in the fucking face. 
And yeah. Yeah, that's all I've got to say really. <laughs> um, if you want a game that looks visually stunning, then yes, get this game. If you're a massive do you know what I mean? And you have to be a massive JRPG fan and then you then get this game. If you want to be frustrated beyond fucking belief with the final fucking boss battle, then get this game. But here's what I say to you. If you've never played another Final Fantasy game in your life before, don't get this. In fact, I would say go fuck this self. Go fuck this game. The only reason to get this game is lightning. And she's only in the game a maximum of maybe an hour. But she's the best character in this game along with the main villain. The rest of the characters are fucking horrible, as I've said. So I think I've ranted on long enough. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you're a Final Fantasy fan you stuck around, I hope I didn't offend you. But if I had to give it a fair score as a game, as a game, here's what I would give it. Even though I've not completed it. If I could give it a fair score, as a fair gamer, I would give Final Fantasy XIII to the exact same score that I give Kingdom of Amalur Reckoning, a 7. It's a good game. It's worth your money, if you're a Final Fantasy fan, but I feel that it's not worth my money. I fucking hate it. It's a good game. It's a good time killer game. I would say rent it, but there's no way you could beat this in a weekend unless you fucking played it for 20, 24 hours fucking straight. But, what kind of game would I, who would I say would like this game? JRPG fans. If you're a massive JRPG fan, get this game. It's a good JRPG. But, I fucking hate it. It can go fuck itself. 7 out of 10 from me if I had to give it a review. But even though, I, even though I've not completed it, I'm not going to give it a good review. I don't really give two shits about the ending, so that's my opinion on this game. This game can go fuck itself, and so can the entire Final Fantasy fucking franchise. I have not played Final Fantasy 7 by the way, so from 8 onwards, Final Fantasy can go fuck itself. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all later. I'm gonna go and fucking beat the living shit out of my pillow and pretend it's the face of fucking Noel. See ya.